The chicks all dig a man of the sea. Rugged, adventurous, swarthy. Hey, Jacques Cousteau. You want to get your day with the sea daydream down here so we can do the opening? Hi everybody and welcome to the maiden voyage of Cheap Date, the fun new weekly segment featuring out of the way places and out of the box events that are perfect for you and that special someone. Whether it's that all important first date or whether you're with your first mate for life. I'm Jeff Short, I'm the happily married guy. And I'm Dave Tarbert, the bachelor. And if you're like me- You're cheap. I prefer the word thrifty. Like I was saying, if you're like me, tired of the traditional dinner and a movie, we've got some great ideas for you. And the best part, all for under 10 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. We thought we'd start right here on Cleveland's lakefront with this floating maritime museum, the USS Cod, an actual World War II submarine. It may just be the most interesting and historical date you've had in a long time. So grab a first mate as we dive, dive, dive into history. <laughs> We're here with Dave Buckholtz, a real-life veteran and submariner himself, and now he's here with the COD. Admiral, tell us a little bit about the history of the COD. How did this thing get started? Well, the COD was commissioned in 1943 as part of the submarine building in World War II. She made seven war patrols during the war, sank uh, approximately 36,000 tons of enemy shipping. After the war, she was decommissioned, and then she was recommissioned just before the Korean War, if I remember correctly served until 1959 when she was brought here to Cleveland as a reserve training vessel. Then in 1971, the Navy stricken her from their roles and 1976, the COD committee acquired uh, authority and possession of the COD so that she could be made the memorial as she is today. Now I know that there's many tactical missions and planning that goes on on a sub. And this one is called the USS COD, and I just know that that's got to be an acronym for something like, you know, Commandos on Demand or something like that. What does COD stand for? I'm afraid it doesn't stand for anything special except for that the COD is a fish. Looks like they're having a blast at the Rock Hall. Whoops. Eh, let's check out what else is going on. Ooh. Day nine. Permission to come aboard. Now, Dave, these sailors were at sea for weeks and months at a time. I mean, was there ever a time when the cod was docked, when you'd invite girls down for a little underwater exploration, if you know what I mean? Absolutely not. We didn't do that kind of thing. <laughs> we see a lot of families and couples walking around the, the cod. Tell us why this is a great, cheap date. Well, it's a piece of history, Jeff, and you can come down here, spend all the time you want. There's no time limit. It's not a guided tour. There are people that will come down here and spend two hours going from one end of the boat to the other because they're that interested in what they see. There are other people that come down here just because it's history, and they feel that they need to know our history and what people went through so we can have what we have today. Well, that's about it. The USS Cod. You know, this place is so cool, sure steeped is. in history. It really is a great place to bring a date. Well, don't I know it. They call it the Cod. I'll just call it the Love Boat. It's a submarine, Dave. You mean my pickup line of, hey, let's go check out the submarine races is, isn't all too lame after all? Oh, it's lame. It's totally lame. But at least it's legitimately lame. Oh. The Cod is docked right here on the lakefront between the Rock Hall and Burke Lakefront Airport. 
It's open seven days a week. Parking is free, and it's only six bucks to get in. Six bucks? Now that's cheap. I mean thrifty. <laughs> Go to USSCOD.org for more information. And listen, we have to thank everybody here at the COD for their amazing hospitality. And while Dave and I go check out the smoke that seems to be coming from the Rock Hall, here are a few other events that make perfect cheap dates this weekend. We'll see you next time. Let's go.